Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com, hanging out with Broncos defensive lineman Shelby Harris. He was our guest tonight here on Xfinity Monday Live. Uh, big plans for the offseason? Uh, no, just being dad, man, and yeah. uh, trying to take a couple trips here and there. But um, more than likely, I'm trying to make my way down uh, to Florida at some point. Okay. Got to try to get out the country one time. And that's about it. Mm. How much do you take off? Like, how much time do you allow yourself before you start training again for OTAs and minicamp? Well, before last year, I'll take like a month off. Now, like, I'll probably start back up next week. Okay. And just uh, get off light, but always just always running. Um, just staying in good condition throughout the whole off season, you'll be a, a step ahead coming back for OTAs. Yeah. yeah. And for me, that's the most important part because I'm. You always be plenty strong. You're always gonna live. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, you want to set the tone by being in great physical conditioning when you go back there uh, doing what OTAs. Does doing. it help being here at altitude? Yeah, and that's what my main reason why I move my family out here. Like we live here, uh, we live right around the corner now. Um, because if you stay in the altitude for uh, the whole off season, you don't have to get used to right, it again. Right. And it's miserable trying to get used to it again. So, <laughs> so I'm happy being here again. Uh, what the, what what is it like? watching the playoffs on on television i know that's probably got to be a little bit tough uh yeah it's tough because you want to obviously want to be there but at the end of the day it's a uh, motivation there's knowing that like especially watching the seahawks if you really watch them we beat them down and then the score didn't the score may not have said it but the play did we were way more physical than them now and they're out and they were in the playoffs and it's like wow that could that should have been us like the seahawks ended with 10 wins <laughs> that should have been us, and, yeah. that, and that's that's the type of stuff that kills us. Like we beat the Chargers, and, and like we, and that's that's all the stuff you see. Like we practice against the Bears, you know how good they are. We should definitely be. We should be in the playoffs, and we got to take the steps for next year to get there. Now that you're kind of a week removed from the season, when you look back at the 2018 season for Shelby Harris, what stands out? Um, for me, it's just uh, you know trying to fight through adversity and um, take advantage of any opportunity you get because. Not necessarily, especially being a backup player, uh, you don't, you're not going to get 60 snaps a game. But when you go in there, you got to, you got to take advantage of that opportunity. What's next for you? Have you made up your mind or goals for next season, or is it still, still too early for that? Well, one of my first goal, I guess, is to be here next year. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sign me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, yeah, my first goal is to be here, but then uh, my, my goal is you know, be, become a starter and um, go out there and just be a, a force. And I have to be one of the best uh, nose tackles in the game for next year. Well, John always got a few things he's got to do before he can worry about signing you. <laughs> got to name a head coach first, but then I'm sure that is high on his priority list. Hey, man, first time we've had you on the show, we knew you were going to kill it. I think you even exceeded our <laughs> expectations, man. Loved having you on. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll do it again soon. Shelby Harris, our guest tonight here at the View House Centennial. That is going to do it for us. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com.